In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite route in Madden 21 for Mabel coverage. How to absolutely just simply take the uh, the coverage and essentially just throw it away because it's not gonna work against this play. This play is absolutely insanely effective specifically for Mabel coverage if you're starting to see a lot of that. So as you can see my coaching adjustments here, I've got my flats on 30, my curl flats on 10, and my hooks on 10. This comes to us out of the Arizona Cardinals uh, Air Raid Offensive Guide. If you want to get the Offensive Guide, become a true fan member. I just, I just released it just for my true fan members. So if you want to get access to that, you can join the true fan membership for just five bucks a month. Every single week you get a offensive update, a defensive update, as well as a uh, pro player breakdown. So we'll break down different schemes throughout the course of the year. We'll give you different like little tweaks that you can do to the current scheme that we're using. Um, but this is a really, really good deal. It's great for Madden 22 as well because we're going to continue this into the Madden 22 season. But the play that we're going to be utilizing is the play Y cross. And this play is so, so good against Mabel coverage in particularly. And we're going to show you why right here. So basically, um, the way most people are going to run their Mabel coverage on you is they're going to use these flat zones. All right. It's very, um, it's just very, very likely. So, of course, if I can get this daggone thing to cooperate, um, my controller is just not having it lately. But let me see if I can get So there we go. Get the cloud. <laughs> okay. So, um so anyway, what you're going to see is it doesn't matter if they have yellows either. That's the cool part about this. So we're just going to put yellows on the field. And then what we're going to do is we're basically going to take our user and we can on it. We just do whatever with him. Um, it's not a, it's not important. But I want to show you why this is so good against Mabel Cover. So all we're going to do is we're just going to hitch the triangle receiver and we're going to put the uh, back on a block and release. So if it's a blitz, we can look to the hitch quick. Um, if it's not, or or the uh, back either way okay so if it's not a blitz we're gonna be able to step up in the pocket and make a read so uh, first things first I do want you to understand and know this curl right here to Adams is super good like it's the reason why this play is so good against Mabel coverage it's one of the many reasons uh, why this play is so good against Mabel coverage is that curl is going to sit Again, this is different. It's a unique route. And the reason why it's so good is because it sits down against zone. Um, this is a really special route. It's, it's designed to do that. So they're going to have to make a decision. Are they going to guard circle or are they going to guard X? Now, most of the time, they're actually going to guard circle because of some of the other things that we've been doing from this offense. This is why this hitch becomes really important to triangle. This X route doesn't look like it'll get open, but what you'll see is it's going to be one of the most tender, it's gonna get into one of the most tender spots in the zone, and it's going to absolutely obliterate uh, things like flat zones and things like that. So as you can see right there, it's a really simple little read. It's a later read, but it's a, it's, it's a really, really smooth and really, really effective read. Now, if they don't put a yellow zone, let's say they put a yellow zone on the right, but they don't put a yellow zone on the left, I just wanna show you what that looks like. So again, we've got that nice little uh, stock fade route. If they run cover two or something, we've got that read. But then you're going to see here, this hitch is wide open because of zone drops. Because zone drops are going to take a zone and they're going to put it in a specific spot, right? Um, they're not going to naturally play the routes on the field. They're going to play the spots on the field, which in some cases can be really good. And in some cases is not good at all. Um, and as you can see there, you know, this is, they're going to have to blitz at least two people more than likely, um, especially in Madden 22. So this little hitch right here is just going to be such a good read. You're going to see also, you can throw this if they drop the defensive lineman back like that right there, you can throw it into that zone. It's actually not a bad read, especially if someone is using uh, 10 yard uh, hitches. So now what that's going to mean is this is again going to isolate their user. So now let's say that their user says, okay, you know what? No more crossing routes. I'm taking the crossing route away. You're not going to throw the crossing route. Well, as you can imagine, you're going to see, okay, he goes with the crosser. We're just going to sit down right in that zone. Look at that. That's a that's about a 20-yard dot against the Mabel coverage. Really simple and really, really effective. Now, what about man coverage real quick? Let's say they run like shaded down man coverage. Um, what you're going to do against man coverage on this play um, is actually really unique, I think. So basically what we're going to do is if you look to the uh, circle receiver, when he cuts to the inside right there, he's going to beat man. 
So essentially, you're kind of anticipating that as a cut, and then you throw it easily against man-to-man -man coverage. Um, honestly, we probably wouldn't call this play exactly like this for man-to-man -man coverage because that's our number one read that we have. Um, however, if we leave this out route to triangle, you'll see oftentimes he'll beat man-to-man. -man. Uh, he didn't on that on that example, but he actually typically will beat man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing that we've got is we force a deep half, so if they don't... Um, you, you will get a lot of these like instant win animations here on square. If you get that instant win, you just pass lead it to the outside and swerve catch it. So you've got that. Um, obviously, if there's not a deep half there, you could throw it over the top. So you've got options against man coverage, um, but man coverage is really not the reason. We're not going to call this if we're anticipating man coverage. You do have options, though. Um, the other thing I want to show you is like a cover four. The outside quarter is not going to get there. So as you can see, this cross, it's a really delayed cross. He really works a lot of the field. And I actually like that because, again, one other little thing about Mabel coverage. Now, we are anticipating that their user is going to be right here. But let's say, for example, that the user really goes out to guard circle. Um, this is something that I've experienced a lot when running this offense. So they got to have the, the yellow over there for the hitch. And so they're going to basically jet out to try to take away that instant hike throw. Uh, to the circle receiver, what you're going to see is this cross route is going to really get open in the middle of the field. He sits down in the middle so well. Um, it's better than a standard crosser. A standard crosser kind of runs himself out of the play other than the sideline. This crosser is really actually more designed to work the middle of the field first and then get to the sideline. So I'd encourage you to try this out. This is a really, really good Mabel beater out of the spread offense. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. My number's at the top left of the corner of your screen. And then also one of the things I want to remind you is if you want to get this entire offensive guide, uh, I actually put it into our true fan membership for my true fans. This is my favorite offense. It's been my favorite offense for years. And uh, it's just it's a lot of fun. So if you want to get access to it, um, it's in the description for just five bucks a month.